hallway looking even better. You can see that I've already started with my coffered ceiling and recessed lighting. And now I'm moving on to this molding. It is so dated and it is original to the home. So you can see here, I'm using my crowbar and my hammer. I'm just going to loosen it a little bit by hammering it in, finding the nails behind the baseboard. And that is where I'm pulling it off of the wall with minimal to no damage to the wall itself. Look at this one, it came off completely into one piece. So here, what I'm doing is I'm taking the molding off and then using my hammer to hammer down the nails. This is essential not only as you go along, but for the people who are taking it, if you're putting it on the curb, it's just a safety, safety hazard to have those nails sticking straight up. So I am just continuing and I am a train, look at this, just getting all this molding off. Now sometimes, there, you can't get those nails out. So there are two options. One was with the needle nose pliers and then using the hammer. And then this one is putting a nail through first and then sandwiching it, like using it as leverage to then pull it out again, minimal. You don't want to destroy the that framing, especially if you're going to use it, which we are. We're just going to paint it in the end. So here I am, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and measure out the side molding of each door. Now, if you have previously stained frames, you can use the existing line to cut your new pieces out and just use it. So here I'm taking my wood that I'm going to be using on the sides and I'm just using my miter saw. And that note was just to quickly remind you that when you use your miter saw, it removes one eighth of an inch of your existing wood. So all of these measurements are individual and I have them marked on the other end because the door frames are not the same on every single frame because you know it's just how it was. Especially in older homes, there's wonky measurements. So you're gonna wanna take your time and level things up and trim where where you need to. I'm using glue on the back of each wood. That is not essential, but the nail gun definitely is. So here we are going to the top, which you can start to see it all come together. This is a one by two and I have used my level and now I'm going back in with my nail gun. And here is a one by six that I'm using for the top threshold piece. And I'm just leveling it all up, making sure that the end is actually the same width as the one by fours on either side of the door frame. So you want that to line up. We're finishing it off with another one by two on the top. And I would recommend getting your level out like this and leveling it vertically because you want it to be appealing to the eye as well. So here's another area. Again, the side pieces are one by four. The horizontal pieces is a base of a one by two connecting your one by fours. And then you're going to add a one by six. Again, I'm using glue, you don't have to, but you see how the one by four and the one by six actually match up. That is what's gonna give it that cohesive, seamless look. And then top it off with a one by two at the top. Now time for the caulking, the dreaded caulking. This tip was already cut and it was cut kind of wide. So you're gonna go to each and every groove. Uh, so it could take you a little bit, but I'm using a cup of water, a cup that I can throw away, and I'm damping my finger because that makes the caulking not stick to it, but also creates a smooth. But I'm going to use the rim of the cup to take off the excess caulking, and I'm just gonna smooth it all the way down. So <laughs> be mindful of how many cuts you have or how detailed you wanna get because you are gonna have to go back and just caulk every single part. And here I am using frog tape once the caulking has dried. And I would recommend using the, the painter trip trick where you use the color behind the wood and then let it dry and then add the darker color because it creates these beautiful seamless edges. But here I am after I have taped out everything with frog tape and I am just going to town generously with a high grade 
paint, which is the Bear Marquis, and as well as a high grade paintbrush because it, it limits the stroke marks on the wood itself. We had the kids join in the fun, and you can see how this hallway is already so much more dramatic, but we love to take these moments to teach our kids so that they can eventually help and jump in. But we love the transformation of the dark with the light combined, and I felt like it was not so safe, and I love the risk I took because it absolutely makes it picture perfect. <laughs> 